Hello everyone, I'm the Mole Man and welcome back to Train Simulator. We're on the Riviera line today and we're driving a HST. You can hear it idling away in the background. But there's a little bit of a twist. It's in LNER livery. Yes it is. Let's get in, let's get the doors open and let's explain what's going on, shall we? That's it, right, that's the train pretty much set up. Let's get the headlights on. That's it. Hold up. Exit St. David's. Yes, so, I wanted to drive the HST and I thought, well, uh, can't really do East Coast Mainline, we've just done it with the 89. But then I remembered, last year, in August, I think, yeah, summertime, Cross Country was so busy, they brought on two LNER sets to provide additional capacity. So that's what we're doing today. We are driving the LNER HST on a cross-country service along the Riviera line. Which I think is just a nice little way of shaking things up a bit, you know. It, it's fun. We've got a 2 plus 8 configuration. So we've got 8 coaches, 2 power cars, which is very nice. Um, I have numbered them as they were on the day, which is rather nice. And yes, if you haven't seen it, this is the, uh, the LNER HST. Which is a new, well, I say it's a new model. It's the model from Train Sim World brought into Train Sim and then given the LNER livery, which is very, very nice. This is lots of high quality compared to the old one, because the HST is like one of the oldest trains in the game, and this is essentially a new version for train sim, which is cool, which is cool. Yeah, got a nice passenger view as well. Oh, doors are closing. Handle went up, very nice. Yeah, we've got a nice passenger view as well, LNER first class. Lovely, but that's not what we're going to be spending our time today. We want to be, uh, get ready to go, so... Uh, Let's do Notch 3 departure. And we're away. Non-stop to Newton Abbott. 20 miles. Shouldn't take us very long at all. This is a workshop scenario. I wanted to find one, and this is the exact head code. Um, I can't remember what it is. It's, uh, yeah, 1V50 is the head code. Which is what this ran. But this the scenario that was on the workshop is set in 2017 with a cross-country train. I've just swapped out the AI for my own purposes. So I'll link you to the scenario, but know that I have edited it as it is on the workshop. is um, not like this. You drive a, a different HST, and uh, yeah, that's, the, that's just the way it is. I just wanted to drive this, and I thought, yeah, this will do the trick. Look at that. I do like it. Screenshots are plenty, of course, because I haven't actually driven this thing. Oh, maybe not here. <laughs> Maybe not here. I've not actually driven this thing yet, so you know. Opportunities are plenty for screenshots. Nice. Screenshot. Right, let's power up. Away we go. Yeah, it really shouldn't take us long to get to Newton Abbott. It's going to be a short run. But at least we get to see the... Uh, the seawall, etc. Which is sort of going to be the highlight of the show. Seeing this thing run, run, run along the uh, seawall is going to be very interesting. But yeah, I like it. New cab. Which is just a nice place to be. As you imagine, the, uh, the, yeah, the cab we've had and the HST we've had is literally the oldest train in the game. So it's just nice to have a bit of a refresh, model-wise. Just waiting for the day where I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that AP do something like, Hey, own this enhancement pack. Get this mini enhancement pack for the new HST for a discount. I wouldn't mind that. That'd be nice. Get some liveries on this thing and uh, see what they can do with it. Like, the only down it doesn't have ATP, so it wouldn't really work as a Great Western HST, but I would like to see some Great Western liveries on it. So we can use it in this sort of area more prototypically. That would be nice. And yeah. It's all good fun. Right, let's open her up. 100 miles an hour. That's it. Love it. Look at the front there. I do like this livery. 
And the LNER logo suits it better than the Virgin logo, I think. It just does. I like the LNER logo. It's good. It's good. Screenshot. Oh, the whistleboard in it as well. Or back a bit so we don't have the whistleboard in it. Back a bit so the whistleboard isn't as prominent. I think that's the answer. Got a nice tree in there as well. Excellent. How are we doing? 90 miles an hour. Good. Got a blind. Does this work? Some blind? Yeah, that works. Oh, challenge mode. We don't want that. <laughs> we do not want that. But yeah, it's nice. That's where the camera goes because uh, all trains have got a forward facing camera. So if there's an incident, they use that to see like whose fault it was, sort of thing. So that's cool. So yeah, it's just a nice modern cab, which I like. Alright, approaching 100 miles an hour. Let's just coast there then. Excellent. Cab light. It's quite a nice cab light. Shows everything off quite nicely. Yeah, I like it. I don't know how much power to use to try and keep us at 100. Let's just try notch 2. Although there seems to be a little bit of a bug where notch 2 is, like, there's no notch 1, so we've just got to <laughs> make do as best we can, but it's fine. Whistleboard there. Nice. It's a nice route, this. The Riviera line. I'm gonna say I, I've, I've done it once. I've I've done the Riviera line once. Did it on the on the uh, GWR HST farewell. Only trouble is it was getting dark and the weather was terrible really, so I didn't really get to see much of it. At least I think the weather was terrible. Maybe it was just getting dark outside. So I need to do it again one day to uh to see the Riviera line in its uh full glory. That needs to happen. Gunning it along now. So th this isn't the route to get a HST up to speed. Need a rest there. It's just a uh, a nice one to you know for the scenery. Hello, 800 or 802, probably 802. Screenshot with you because this is an odd combination, isn't it? <laughs> Very odd combination. Yes, look at that. GWR and LNE on that side by side. That's what you want to see. Alright, let's break. Wasn't paying attention. Too busy looking at the uh, IET there. So, going to be uh, going around this corner a little bit faster than we should. But it's only a standard scenario, so, you know, I can't be shouted at too much. Besides, if everyone's on time, how much can they complain, really, you know? In reality, this service ended up running 50-odd minutes late or something. So, we're doing better already. A little bit of speeding never hurt anyone. It's kind of not true, but we'll just, we'll just pretend like it is. Just look at this. You don't get LNR, HST and water this close all that often. There's a couple of spots up in Scotland where you get that, but this is quite unique, quite bizarre, and I like it. Yeah, never be afraid to swap stock. That's that's one thing I always say. If you're gonna, if you want to drive something, you haven't quite got the scenario for it with, you know, with the train you want, just swap it. There's loads of tutorials on how to use RW tools or TS tools, as they're called now. I'm pretty sure there are. And you just edit a scenario, click on a train, click the train you want to swap it with, and job done. Or go into the scenario editor itself, plop a train down next to the one that's already in there, move the uh, driver icon over. It's uh, it's nice. It's just a nice way to spice things up a bit. Because normally this would be a cross-country HST scenario, you know, proper cross-country livery. But I didn't want to drive that. I wanted to drive this. Because it's quite a unique sort of thing. So that's what I did. 
And that's what we're doing. I bet it was confusing. <laughs> Anyone who's like used to seeing the, the trains but not knowing too much about them, then seeing this thing come along at a weekend, a completely different colour. Like, what the hell happened? So I'll tell you what happened. Stock borrowing for the win. Wish it happened more often. Just makes for some unique moves. And of course, it is a move that's not really doable anymore. Hello, Pacer. Screenshot view as well. Of course, GWR Pacer there. You know, with how many HSTs have been retired now, it's just a sight of the past, really. You'd never get an LNER set down here again. However, one of the things I love and most people seem to hate. I don't know if anyone's... You may have seen it, you may not have seen it. If you haven't seen it, go and look it up. Statesman Rail slash Locomotive Services Limited are going to be doing a rail tour later this year in the HST. It, they've got a VP185 set, which is the East Midlands ones that, have already, that some of them have already retired. And to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the Blue Pullman, which if you didn't know, the Blue Pullman was a... Uh, I, it's oh a Pullman train. That's the word for it. Yeah, I didn't need to get my brain in a mess all over that. Yeah, it's a Pullman train, so you know, high quality, expensive service. Sort of ran in the early diesel years, and uh, it never really took off. It was uh, that, and all the trains got scrapped. But that was 60 years ago, and in celebration of that fact, they're painting a HST in the blue Pullman livery. And to this day, only the blue, blue Pullmans themselves and a Class 47 and some Mark IIs have carried the blue Pullman livery. But uh, now, a HST will as well. It's, already, it's currently at Eastleigh. Probably already getting repainted as we speak. Like, I am I love it. Most people seem to hate it, but I love what it does. And, like, you know, I don't want to judge it based on a mock-up. Because it's the light... It's a light blue livery, no yellow front. They're going to put new headlights in so it doesn't have a yellow front. It'll have white round the cab window, windscreen there. Blue coaches with a white wall running down the side where we've got the black one there. So I think it'll be really nice. And I cannot wait to see it. It's due to, it's due to do its first rail tour in November. And I hope as soon as someone gets a glimpse of it, it gets reskinned in train sim. Annoyingly, I'd want it reskinned on this one because it's a new model, but it won't have the same headlights. <laughs> this has got the uh, the four. <clears throat> we've got we've got four holes for headlights here. The uh, the East Midlands ones, the the VP185 ones, have got a. Uh, they've got six headlights. So it's not quite the same. I'm speeding now, but Dawlish, this is the sea wall. We get some screenshots of the sea wall. That reflection really doesn't work, does it? It's, like, it's not reflecting half of the train. Oh, train sim. We love you for your complications. That's it. That's better than nothing, I guess. Let's look at that. LNER. It's facing out to sea. It's wonderful. We're getting a couple of shots like that. Yes. Need to get a good one from the other side of this tunnel. That's what I've decided. We're going to get a nice sort of a... Uh... That's it. A nice shot from here, I think. That's very nice. We'll try and get a couple fly past as we uh, go about our journey today. Get screenshots coming out of tunnels, etc. So why not? I say this seawall section is just so picturesque. It's just screenshots for days. 
Look at that, race around the corner there. Out of the rock. Very nicely coloured as well. Ooh, now there's a shot. There's a shot. Nice. Shadow's kind of clipping through our camera there, but it's okay. Like that. Come around the corner there. A bit of power down. Listen to that in the tunnel. Nice. Last sort of stretch of seawall now. Go past the floating waves. <laughs> ah, amazing. Yeah, you can tell this route's aged a bit. But not much, just a little bit. Just in the uh, old water department. There's no point in me speeding up, is there? There's a 60 limit right around the corner. Oh well. Head of rest. Beautiful, beautiful bit of railway. I'm saying at the moment they're spending a lot of time sort of making the seawall a lot stronger, making it wider, because uh, the amount of times the railway gets damaged and trains get damaged by waves that come crashing over, it's just not good. So they've, ever, they've been widening the seawall in a few places, which is good. It's better than the alternative, I think, which would be to build a new railway that goes not via this lovely lovely location because the people walk along here you can get you can get photos like this you know it's just wonderful and there she goes Lovely. Bye-bye. Put a bit of speed on that. Remember back in the 1950s. Went through a red signal here. That was good fun. Uh, if you were... That was like old school mole man that was. I think we were driving the uh, the S160 down the Riviera line in the 50s. There was a red signal around here that I completely missed it. Good times, good times. We'll drive on the 50s again at some point. Trust me. I just love this route so much. You go around the corner, it's like green, blue. It's nice. Up to 80 miles an hour, then 90. Don't mind if I do. Past all the boats. So yeah, if anyone if <clears throat> if anyone wants to get ahead of the game and reskin this into Blue Pullman livery, uh, be my guest. I would love that. I would absolutely love that. Almost as much as the screenshot opportunity. Look at that. Reflections are just my weakness. Yeah, they don't quite work, but <laughs> they're my they're my weakness. I can't help it. I just can't help it. Look at that. Nice. Gathering speed. Not long to go into Newton Abbott. I said this would be a short one. I was not lying. I was not lying. On other routes, of course, we could take this down to Plymouth, but I didn't want to spend forever driving this, because uh, I'm not made of time. I'm not made of time. But maybe one day we'll uh, do a, a cross-country service that goes a bit further. That'd be nice. Because there's also the railways and 
the railways of Devon and Cornwall, Cornwall ugh, mouthful, which is an upgrade of this route, a freeware upgrade that extends it massively and adds detail everywhere and keeps the route up to date. The only reason I don't install that is how much freeware it requires, like all the different prerequisites in terms of scenery and stuff like that. And it's just like, I do not have time to... I do not have time to deal with that, so I just stick with this Riviera line for now. And if I want to drive beyond it, I usually use the uh, Western Main Lines. I don't, you know, I've got no. I, I I adore the work that the that the railways of Devon and Cornwall team do. I think what they do and t the quality of which they do it is fantastic. Just cannot be bothered to install it. <laughs> Which is my own thing, and if I'm missing out, I'm missing out, but, I, you know, it's just just the way I am. I'll take the convenience of just having a route that's already here. And speeding throughout. Wonderful. Well, there's our stop. Just over a mile. That really didn't take long. But, you know, short and sweet. A little run with the HST. We'll do it on the East Coast Mainline one day as well. I said I was going to, but then I thought I've literally just done London to Peterborough in the uh, in the 89. So I thought, eh, let's not, not do that again. Clear the AWS. Thankfully, I can see the signals and the HUD, so I can uh, see if I've got it or not, which I have. I'll start bringing the speed down now. So we will shortly be arriving at Newton Abbott. Nice to also drive on a route that doesn't have many, uh, you know, not lots of scenery requirements and is quite light on scenery, so it's not a nightmare to uh, to run, which is quite nice. We're here two minutes early, by looks things. Which is very cool. Here we are, Newton Abbott. Take some screenshots whilst we're here. We haven't got because we haven't got to be here for another couple of minutes. Technically, I don't have to worry with opening the doors. I can just piss everyone off in the back by leaving them shut. <laughs> like let us out, let us out. Like no, we're early. And the pacer there. Red signal at the end of the platform. Got another HST coming in. So that there's a cross-country HST, which is interestingly using the old model, but also has some uh, sliding doors. So we'll stop here, and we'll get a screenshot with him, get like a side-by-side -side comparison. So we get side. So this is the. Uh, that's it. So you've got the old model here. Which has this has got some upgrades to it. Major Wells has done some upgrades to the horn grills and the headlights, and we've also got the Armstrong Powerhouse Enhancement Pack as well. So you know that it is a tuned up default model, but you can see the difference in the number of polys on the roof there, and just the overall fidelity of the shape of the noses. You know there are differences there, and it's nice to have a new one. I just hope it gets utilised as much as this one did. I do hope that. And they've also got the sliding doors up here, which is uh, a modification made for uh, accessibility purposes, which is rather nice. If he's stopping, we'll hear his doors open, because they've got new audio. But not before we've got a screenshot with old and new. Stop. Right, let's uh, get the doors open. Nice animation on the door handles, as we saw them close earlier. Chunk, chunk. Which is cool. Everyone go on and off. You do your thing. Have you already opened your doors? You're about to. Nice. I can't remember who did... Two, two people have done this now, and I don't know which one this is. The sliding door thing. Major Wells and someone else. I hate... Th I love it when people do some creative stuff in Train Sim. I hate it when it doesn't... When it conflicts with each other. 
Like, you can install one HST mod, but if you install another one, they conflict with each other, and then neither of them work in scenarios. So you've either got to have one or the other, or do some surgery to merge their files together. It's a nightmare. And I just wish talented people would, you know, get get on, get along with one another, and uh, work together on some projects. Bye-bye. Have fun going to wherever you're going. Good drive today, driver. Thank you very much. Short and sweet video, that one, but nice to drive the HST. Always nice to drive a HST. But I shall leave it there. Thank you very much for watching this one, and I will see you in the next video.